Okay, we are working on the Module 7, End of Module Project 1, Mission County Hospital, Creating a Newsletter with Word Art. So we're going to be making some changes to this document to make it easier to read, make it look a little better. It's also going to create columns, which is a very common format for newsletters, and it will make this on one page instead of two. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do in step one is we're going to convert the newsletter title to word art. So we've got our title to your health. So I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to convert it to word art. Up here under insert, over here to the right, I have word art. And there's lots of different options we can choose from. You move your mouse over them, then you get a screen tip that's going to tell you what it's called. We want the Phil Aquit, A A Aqua Accent Color 1. You make that change there. We're going to change the text wrapping on this word art shape to top and bottom. So with it still selected, we have our shape format. Our wrap text, we're going to change to top and bottom. And we're going to resize it to a height at 0.7 inches. So over here under our height, we've got 0.7. And then we want a width of 7 inches. So we've got all those taken care of. We're going to change the font size of our text. So change our font size to 40. Then we are going to change the text fill color to a gradient. And so we're going to put back up here to shape format. Make sure you have it selected. Over here under our text fill, we have a, just some plain options. We want to move on down here to the gradient options. And we want medium gradient. So we're going to have to again scroll down to more gradients. We're going to get a little box that pops up here on our right, little navigation pane. Lots of different things we can do with our shape. A lot of these same objects are up here at the top as well, so you can do things in a couple of different areas in Word. We want the gradient fill. I don't know why it's not letting me do it. Get something wrong. I want the text fill, I want gradient, more gradients, maybe it's because I don't have it selected, yep, you need to select your text first, so then we've got our preset gradient, we want the fourth one over, third one down, medium gradient, accent four, I'm going to close that now. I want to apply the warp up text effect. So I've got my text effect here. Come down here to transform, and here's our warp. And we want to come down and find the warp up. There we go, warp up right here. Text effect. We want to get ready to create our newsletter into columns, but we don't want our heading to be part of the column. We want to only start our columns right before the first body paragraph. So we're going to put our insertion mark right here in front of the one of the best practices. And the first thing we need to do is to insert a continuous break. So up here under the layout tab, you will find your breaks. Click on that, and we're going to scroll down to Continuous. And now we want to format the column after this to two columns. So we'll click up here on Columns and make it two. And so you can see everything now is on one page, and we are in two columns. But we want to do something a little different to the columns. We want the columns to be 3.3 .3 inches wide. So up here under the Columns, we're going to come down here to More Columns. This is going to give us opportunity to make some changes. We want our width to be 3.3. .3. 
and we want a line in between. Okay, so that's going to change the width of our columns. It's also going to put a line between our columns. Okay, so now we've got a line, and this line is actually in what is referred to as the gutter. The space between two columns is referred to as a gutter. Okay, we've got our picture of this backpack down here. The first thing we want to do is crop it to remove the red lines. So with our picture selected, we have picture format. Come up here to crop and crop. And we're just going to make it just a little bit. Just a tad. Just to remove those red lines. So now our red lines are gone. We want to rotate the picture about 20 degrees to the right. So up here under Rotate, we click on this and More Rotate Options. In our rotation, we want it to be 20. And then we want to change the position. So we come up here to Position, and we want the position, the absolute position, 2.6 to the right of column and an absolute position of 0.25 below the paragraph. Let's say OK. So we've got it moved and we've got it angled a little bit. So it just looks a little bit better in our document. Okay, we have a text box over here we want to put some information in. So we are going to copy the text from our one of our support files. So I'm going to come back here, and I want the support file with breakfast. And I want to copy and text copy this text here. I'm going to highlight it. And copy go back to my text box and I'm going to paste and I want to use the destination theme so I'm going to use this first paste option to test to, to do it I want to resize the text box so I'm up here I've got my shape format tab I want the height of my text box to be 1.6 And then I'm going to move it down to the bottom of my second column. And then it says move the anchor of the text box to the body paragraph, be prepared out the door. So, um, So that's right here. I've got this anchor right here. And I just want to move it down to the Be Prepared column. Next thing I want to do is format the text box by changing the color. So I'm going to select the text box again, come up here to the Shape Fill, and I want Aqua, or no, I want Dark Teal. There we go. Dark teal text to lighter 75%. Just to change the way my text box looks. Finally, I want to put some information from a document in. This document for the text box, we did copy and pasted the text. If you have a document that you know you want to put the information in, then you can actually just insert it as an object. You don't have to do copy paste. It just saves you a couple of steps. So we're going to put our insertion point here in this blank line under reduce screen time, blank paragraph. Under the insert tab, I'm going to scroll over here and I have object. And I'm just going to insert text from a file. So I'm going to click text from a file. 
I'm going to go and I just put all of my other documents in my downloads. I want this reason right here. And it's just going to put just the text from that document right in there. The cell phones are distracting. So I think that's what it added. Um, but we don't need this extra paragraph that copied over. So I'm just going to hit backspace. And now it puts everything down on one page. I am going to move my text box down a little bit more to get rid of that, to put this at the bottom so all of my text is up above it. So now I have everything completed. I'm going to save it. I'm going to close it. Go back to Sam. I'm going to find the document and upload it for grading. Got the right name. Hit submit. And we can click on the study guide to see what our score was. And we've got 100. If something had been off, if the score had been less than 100%, you could have looked down here at the results. And if there was a minus number, that means you got point counted off for it. You can come over here to these, um, to this side and you'll take you to some training. So if you want to practice formatting text in columns, you can go here and do that. So I got 100 on this. I'm not going to make any changes. I'm happy with that score. Quite honestly, I'd have been happy with the score of 95 or higher, but um, I didn't get that. So I got 100. So good for me. Go out and Reward yourself after you complete your assignments. Go get you an ice cream cone, sit outside and enjoy it. Have a great day.